Hello, I want to share with you how I use my portion fix containers to use some of my, uh, enjoy some of my authentic recipes or traditional farm style recipes. So I am Puerto Rican I am, and I am Mexican and the rice and beans is something that we love to enjoy and with the portion fix containers that counts for kind of what's called a double yellow container and the way the containers work is they are colored based off of the different um, food pyramid, if you will. So I have to get creative and figure out how I can enjoy my rice and my beans. And so I wanted to share a little bit about that with you. Uh, I have been very intimidated by the portion fix containers for quite some time, even though I have been a health and fitness coach for two years. I would say that I have embraced the portion fix containers probably within the last six months to maybe a year, but before that I was completely intimidated. So I do want to share that piece of information with you and, and hopefully that is encouragement to you. If you don't know who I am, I'm Carmen Gonzalez and I help women who desire to lose or gain weight break up with emotional eating through support and accountability so they could be present in life with family and friends. So, part of being present is enjoying your uh, good nutrition. And so, I want to share a little bit about that with you. Like I said, I am making, I love rice and beans, and I love to enjoy them, and I wish I could enjoy them all of my meals. But, I do have to limit that. And when I do have an authentic meal that I cook, I still use my portion fix containers, and that's what I wanted to show you. One of the best things that I have found to do is still use my salad spring mix. And I purchased this at Costco. I find that it's the best price. It's four bucks for this whole organic spring mix. And I use it two to three times a day and it lasts me about a week. I made my rice earlier. So here's my, it's called arroz con pollo. And it has rice and chicken in it. And then I made my beans. I use my pressure cooker for just about everything. I have my beans here. I don't want to tilt it over too much and have the juice fall out. But so, based off of my portion fix little uh, handbook here, um, is how I came to the conclusions. And there is a little bit of uh, flexibility because everything I make is home cooked. I'm not using any canned sauces or anything like that. So. What I do is I use my green container to fill up my uh, my spring mix, or I spring, fill up my spring mix with my green container, and I just want to go ahead and show you what that ends up being in the bowl. So. One of the things that I get is these containers are so small, but let me just show you how much that is. So here's my spring mix. Now, again, because I mentioned that I made everything from scratch, I am counting my rice and my chicken as a protein. Um, my rice would essentially be what's called a carb, um, but I am kind of giving myself a little bit of grace there and keeping mind in my my own mind that I'm not going to have any further carbs for today. So this has chicken and this has rice and so I'm going to pour that in here. This is my red. Again your red would just be your rice but there's a lot of chicken in here so I'm not having as much protein. And here is here are my beans so I just pour that over here and then Salsa actually counts as a purple, which is very large. This is a purple, and I don't need that amount of salsa. And since it's being used as my dressing, I'm counting it as an orange. And I just pour it right on top of here, and I enjoy my meal, just like this. So, recap. Spring mix, rice with chicken, beans, and salsa. And that counts for... One green, one red, one yellow, and one orange. And that's kind of how it works uh, with the portion fixed containers. So I would love
love to hear your recipes. And if you need help trying to uh, tra uh, calculate what a portion, a colored container would be with a meal that you are looking for, whether it be a casserole or something like that, please shoot me a message or post in comments below and I will help figure that out for you. So, and if you find that this is helpful for anybody else, please tag them in comments below or even share this video. Thank you so much and have a great night.